travelers, you do not need to hand check your film through airport security. What? Yeah, I said what I said. I recently came back from a trip to Europe uh, with my family and all of my film got scanned in the x-ray machines at least five times. And you know what? All my pictures came out fine. Asterisk. So just keep your film in your carry-ons and not in your checked luggage and everything will be fine. Stop asking for hand checks and wasting everybody's time in the security line and um, yeah, everything's gonna be fine. Now that was the TLDW version. If you want to see um, how I arrived at this conclusion, stick around. We'll take a look at some of my pictures. We'll take a look at some of the negatives and we'll see what's what. So what is the deal with hand checking your film? You know, if you go to any uh, airport in the United States, every TSA checkpoint, you're going to see these signs that say our machines are safe for film up to ISO 800. Yet, if you search this topic online, you're going to find dozens and dozens of blog posts and articles and forum posts of people saying, I always hand check my film. And they all advise you to do the same thing. Take all of your film out of the packaging, Put it into one Ziploc bag and when you get to the front of the line and all these people are behind you waiting to get onto their flights too, you pull your film out and you say, I'd like a hand check, please. And supposedly all the TSA agents are trained for this scenario and uh, that might be fine, but is it even necessary? Have you ever noticed that none of these articles or blog posts, and I've looked at a lot of them, seem to come with sample pictures of what it looks like when your film has been damaged by x-rays. And especially on this topic, you're going to find a lot of people who are just too scared to even try. But I did. So yeah, I took a little bit of a risk. I went on vacation with my family to Europe and I brought with me a 5-pack of Portra 400 along with a couple of rolls of HP 5 Plus which I intended to rate at 800 and push one stop in post. I mean not in post, in development. And that's not the same thing as taking actual ISO 800 film but you know it is what it is. And I packed everything into these Japan Camera Hunter cases because uh, they're a lot smaller than the factory packaging and I threw all this into my backpack which went on the plane with me as my carry-on luggage. And um, as I said before, all of my film was scanned at least five times. Some before they were exposed, some after they were exposed. I even loaded up the first roll of portrait in my camera before we even went to the airport because I wanted to get, you know, family memories of us traveling. Some people say don't even do that. So the first scan was at LAX. Uh, as we were leaving Los Angeles, then we landed in France and we got to the Disneyland Paris Resort and there to get into the hotel, they made us put all of our luggage uh, onto a scanner and for a second I freaked out because like would the scanner be like the uh, checked luggage scanners at the um, airport and would all my film be ruined? Who knows? The third scan was leaving Charles de Gaulle on our way to Alicante in Spain. The fourth scan was uh, leaving Madrid on our way to Zurich and then the last, the fifth scan was when we were leaving Zurich uh, on our way back to Los Angeles. There were some extra scans for some of these. The first roll that I loaded up, uh, this one went through seven scans because uh, it got scanned two more times at, while we were at the Disneyland Paris Resort. Uh, my last roll of Portra went through <laughs> a super long extra thorough double scan at Zurich more about that later and then uh, also I bought a roll of Nation Photo 400. This um, is sold by a local photo lab in Paris called Nation Photo and it's actually uh, rebranded FOMA 400. Uh, this only went through three scans because I bought it when I was in Paris and all of these were developed at home with a Patterson tank. I used the CS41, Cinestill CS41 chemistry for all the color stuff and DF96 for all the black and white. As you can see, we had a lot of fun in France and Spain and all the pictures came out fine. Uh, out of all the eight rolls of film I shot in Europe, there was maybe one case where you might possibly say you could see something that might be x-ray damage. That's a lot of qualifiers and I can't even definitively say that it's x-ray fogging. And that was on the role of Nation Photo 400, which actually got the least amount of scans. But here's the thing. 
that shot was severely underexposed. It was shot in our Airbnb in the evening and the flash didn't go off. It's several stops underexposed. My daughter's back there somewhere. And if you take a look at the actual negative, it's so thin that there's almost nothing there. So it's not a usable shot with or without any potential x-ray damage. So what happened in Zurich? Well, I neglected to take my camera out of the bag when I put it onto the belt to go through the last security checkpoint on our way back to Los Angeles. And I actually saw the x-ray operator on her screen look at my camera for a really long time. And then it came out and another officer made me take the camera out of the bag and he put it back into the scanner again. And that x-ray operator looked at that thing for another really, really long time. They knew it was a film camera, they knew it had film in it, but they didn't care. And why didn't they care? Because it doesn't matter. These are some pictures that were on that roll of film. Some of them were shot before going through Zurich, some were shot later after I got back to Los Angeles. And um, yeah, they're fine. Remember earlier when I said that TSA agents are all trained to do hand checks? Well, the TSA is a US agency. If you look on forums, you're going to see a lot of people complaining that, uh, you know, in Europe and uh, the Middle East and other places, the security agents refuse to do hand checks of film. And you can see why, because it doesn't matter. The scanners are safe for film and hand checks are just wasting everybody's time. So yeah, you really don't have to hand check your film. As long as you just put it in your carry-on and not with your checked luggage, you'll be fine at least up to ISO 800. If you're really that worried, if your photos are really going to be that critical, then what you should do is source your film locally and get it processed locally. And that way you can completely avoid the situation of going through security with unprocessed film. Especially if you're traveling internationally, there's no guarantee that you're going to be able to hand check your film. And you'll get to support the local analog photography community, you know, by buying film and getting it processed over there too. Even in some smaller cities like Alicante, I was able to find multiple film labs selling film. So you can do it that way. Ah, uh, but what if you're on a special documentary assignment to a remote island where there's no places to buy film? If you're one of those people, you're probably not watching this video because you're already well-traveled enough to know that it's safe to x-ray your film. At the beginning of this video, I said that there were no articles online that showed actual x-ray film damage. That's not entirely true. I did find one post from a person who regularly travels with film and they showed what happens when you go through x-ray scanners 11 times. And they did see some issues on some shots that were shot on Cinestill 800T. But the other film stocks were fine. And seeing that is actually what gave me the confidence to just send my film through all the scanners on this trip. And there is one other article I found, which was from Kodak from about 20 years ago. And it shows what happens when you put film into your checked luggage. Over there, they use more powerful CAT scanners and the results were not good. So yeah, don't put film in your checked luggage. And both of these links mention that x-ray damage is cumulative. So the more times you scan your film, the worse it gets. But I think for most people in most situations on most trips, it's going to be fine. So what do you think? You agree? You disagree? If you disagree, is it because you actually had a bad experience? I'd love to learn more about this topic, so please let me know.